Overseas, a fierce battle broke out today on the fringe of the former Soviet Union. Tonight, Secretary of State Rice is calling on Russia to end its assault on the Republic of Georgia, now a U.S. ally. The fighting is in Georgia's province of South Ossetia, home to many Russians who are still loyal to the Kremlin and want to break away from Georgia. Richard Roth has the latest. Columns of Russian tanks and troops rolled into the American-backed former Soviet Republic of Georgia today after a nighttime barrage of artillery fire and rockets. Georgia said it was trying to retake control of South Ossetia, the breakaway province on Russia's border that's policed by Russian peacekeepers. Claiming more than 10 of its soldiers were killed in the night attack, Moscow said it would retaliate. Russian jets bombed four airfields, according to Georgia, and there are conflicting reports tonight over who's controlling Ossetia's main city. Separatists there claim as many as a thousand people have been killed in the fighting. Journalist Georgi Lomsadze. We're very, very scared, and some people are trapped right now. Uh, civilians, many civilians are trapped in their uh, houses and their cellars as um, uh, very heavy fighting still goes on. Roads to the Russian border are filling with refugees, and Georgia's capital tonight is filled with tension. But nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody uh, knows if Russia eventually moves to <laughs> use all its military might uh, against Georgia, because in that case, Georgia doesn't stand a chance. President Bush and Russian Prime Minister Putin talked about it at the Olympics, where, according to a Russian spokesman, Putin bluntly told the president, war has started today. Moscow puts blame on the U.S. and its allies, saying what made Georgia's offensive possible was military aid from the West. The U.S. responded with a call that sounded like an echo of the Cold War, demanding a ceasefire and a pullback of Russian troops from foreign soil. Richard Roth, CBS News, London.